Hello everyone, uh, this is XIS again and I want to continue my tutorial series. Uh, but before I will try to explain you some thoughts about France, I want to give you a few additional information about uh, my tactic video I did before that I miss or uh, weren't that clear. Um, I told you something about the different resources uh, you will find in Friedrich, which are cards, generals, troops, objectives and time. So as a summary or a general concept, you could say um, that you should conquer or defend um, your objectives as fast and as many as possible with the lowest amount of cards, generals and troops. Another thing I did miss uh, was to explain the counterplay of the Prussian uh, core strategy. Yeah? I told you that Prussia will choose one key color against every role and tries to defend um, only in this color and because of um, his income and statistic he will uh, always have um, the card advantage in theory but if you look at the troops on the other hand um, the Allies will have basically on every front line the troop advantage compared to Prussia. So um, every time you attack with the troop superiority, it will cost the Prussia at least um, one card to equalize this difference. And um, so on the long term you should uh, burn the Prussian cards and hopefully get um, an, a card advantage. Um, another thing um, you have to remember or keep in mind that it's way more expensive or better said, um, it will hurt the Prussian player way more to rebuy his troops. Because if he chooses um, a color for every nation, he has only one reserve color. Yeah? And um, maybe this he has to switch at some point or this reserve color will um, go out of cards. Um, and as an ally, you have yeah, let's say two or even three reserve color, so it doesn't really matter so much um, if you lose um, troops. Uh, it's it's no problem as an Austria player to to lose for troops or something. Uh, the bigger problem would be probably that you lose um, a lot of time yeah, to to move again in into a, an attacking or a favorable position. And another point um, I didn't really mention is that when you are fighting, you should always have an eye on the current income yeah, of you and the Prussian player. Um, because the cards you use for fighting goes in the discard pile and at some point these cards are reshuffled again and if the Prussian player has still um, the income advantage will uh, draw statistically um, more cards of uh, your relevant color than you. So you should avoid taking long fights um, in your key color unless you're really um, sure that you have um, the card advantage if, if your income is lower yeah 
and on the other hand uh, the prussian player um, should yeah prioritize long combats uh, because um, he will probably um, get more colors um, more, more cards of his colors uh, at some point and um, another thing general um, is that you should know the rules yeah, and, and you should know exactly the rules <laughs> this is quite important uh, at some point and I will explain it um, in this video on for one example that uh, beginners miss sometimes so let's start with uh, France um, I will start with the rule explanation um, if you look at the objectives of France uh, you can count them this are 10 victory cities and three of them Halberstadt, Magdeburg and Minden um, lie in Prussian territory and uh, the other seven are uh, cities of Hanover so um, you have to keep in mind that the territory is um, relevant who can defend or reconquer this city yes so Minden can only defend it by the Prussian generals because it lies in Prussian territory um, and the same goes for Halberstadt and Magdeburg um, so the Hanover generals can't defend it and also can't uh, reconquer uh, this if the France player has conquered it and this is um, a rule where beginners sometimes struggle and um, go get confused why is uh, this not reconquered or whatever or defended the only way um, you could defend this with an um, Hanover general or troop is to sit on it yeah then it's defended because um, you can't move through it or over it so um, if you compare France uh, with other major roles um, then you should realize then that France has only three generals um, that's one reason why the win rate of France is uh, the lowest of all because this um, yeah, lack of generals really hurts him um, the general strategy of France should be uh, to focus on um, Hanover first. Yeah, I tried it by myself to to conquer or attack early on uh, Halberstadt or Magdeburg, but most of the time it wasn't really successful yeah, because then you missing or losing troops against uh, strong Prussian and Hanover gets stronger and so on so I would really recommend uh, to focus on uh, the conquering of the seven uh, Hanover objectives plus Minden which is normally not defended by Prussia um, and then try to attack um, Halberstadt and Magdeburg um, you should as an yeah, guideline you should have conquered your these eight cities um, by round 10 let's say yeah if you are earlier you're very good uh, and if it's 11 or 12 it's it's okay yeah 
but you should have that in mind as a yeah as a guideline at round 10 you should have this um, then it's good to have this eight um, objectives of course every game is uh, unique and sometimes uh, you miss something or got trapped or whatever but um, yeah. Um, the optimal position uh, you want to achieve is that um, both of the Hanover generals are off board, and one of your generals stands near the base. And um, so even if the Hanover generals get re-bought, um, they have to attack instantly um, because um, you are near each other. And you can even, if he auto retreats or whatever, um, you can attack them again. Yeah, so you should really try to um, kill the two generals and then position one of your generals near the base uh, so that he is uh, basically out of game yeah uh, because then you could um, move two generals um, in the direction of Magdeburg and Halberstadt and uh, can do a combined attack because one general is probably not enough. Um, it's hard anyway <laughs> to win with France um, or to get even one of these two. Um, and you can yeah, consider if you are attacking only with one, it's enough to. Um, to defend with two generals as a Prussian, uh, even with low troops, and you will never conquer it. Yeah. If someone stands here and someone is here, yeah, you can only attack one. So you have to at least uh, have two generals to um, have a chance to, yeah, if efficient uh, for efficient attacks here. Yeah. Um, I will explain something here about uh, Hanover strategy because then uh, you, you can have this, this in mind and can react properly. There are basically um, two common strategies um, to defend. Uh, first, I have to say maybe um, the only goal of um, Hanover is to delay the France player as long as possible. Yeah, um, on the long term, Hanover will always lose against France. Yeah, because uh, Hanover has less generals, less troops, less income, whatever. Yeah. Um, so on the other hand, you should never lose uh, against Hanover as a France. If you do, so you did something critically wrong. Um, so there are basic uh, two basic uh, or common strategies as an Hanover to defend or delay. One is um, just yeah move around as a stack um, and defend normally. Yeah, I I would say go to central positions um, standard things, tactics I explained, try to retreat, um, don't do so much combat because um, yeah, your income is uh, significantly lower, um, better try to retreat um, minus one uh, as often as possible and just delay and um, yeah. Another strategy is um, 
to move this one of your two generals um, and get behind um, the f French territory or lines if you want it and bind one general yeah this was called or this is called the triangle strategy if you have one Hanover general in the bottom a one and one in the upper yeah? it's not very difficult uh, to have one in the upper sector because um, your base is here yeah so um, the key of the strategy is to get one of the Hanover generals um, in the bottom. Yeah, it's cool to have a supply train, but um, often you don't need um, a supply train because there are some territories here where you can um, survive. Um, the cool thing uh, about this is. Um, this guy always um, threats the reconquering of your cities. So you have to move one general, yeah, at least in this direction. It can stand here, for example. Yeah. And this one, uh, if it's here or whatever, also uh, threatens um, the reconquering. So you have to move another general. Uh, in this direction and then you have only one general that can uh, potentially attack these two Prussian uh, cities and as I explained this is most of the time not enough um, so um, you should try to avoid uh, getting in this position um, someone can say okay cool then I just attack uh, this guy and I get rid of him that's true um, but uh, here <laughs> it becomes a little bit tricky because let's say this um, F2 has eight troops and this H2 has seven troops, he just auto retreats forever. You never fight, um, you just uh, um, go for retreat minus one and refill this. Yeah, The only goal of this uh, general is to bind one um, general of France. Yeah? Um, this is another reason why um, I explained it in my guide. It's important if you have the chance not to uh, instantly re-max your troops. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of a gamble yeah, depending on the setup of Hanover and France if you play this yeah, because you can't really deny if he goes um, yeah, this way in the early stages I mean you could try to stop this movement but yeah um, most of the time he will, will get until here or even here and then you will have your first combat and um, yeah depending on how you set up or did set up and um, the Hanover setup, um, it will work or not. Yeah. Um, okay, I hope this triangle strategy is uh, clear to you. If you have some questions about, I will try to answer them. Um, okay, now where you know the two common strategies um, I will explain you some thoughts about the setup yeah? um, 
if it's the normal defense, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Often these two F1 and F3 uh, get into combat first or are your main threat. Um, so you could give them both seven, for example. I don't really like um, giving them eight because then you are stuck again uh, in this, um, or you have less flexibility. Yeah, you are. You know these are sixteen and eight uh, each, and um, the Hanover generals can. It's easier for them to um, retreat if in if. Uh, they know at any point um, this troop strength. Um, so uh, one pos I mean, it doesn't really matter so much. It, it doesn't. It depends more on how he will play. Yeah, as I said, it's a little bit of a gamble, and uh, but you don't know how he will play. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, you just have to know um, what are your options. Uh, so a possible setup could be give them both seven and this guy six, for example. Uh, and if he tries to move through your um, lines until um, after the first combat, um, you have to decide, um, depending on on who was winning and uh, the troop um, setups. Um, if you take another general in the early game and try to hunt him down or not. Yeah. Okay, um, let's talk a little about more about colors um, later in the game when you are try if you conquered your eight cities as i recommended um, the key color will be hearts uh, because these two um, cities will normally defended by the prussian player in hearts so you should always um, have this in mind and um, try to collect hearts as many as possible against uh, Hanover um, I would say um, clubs is um, not really important uh, um, if you look at the at the sector, at the sectors, um, spades is probably the most um, yeah, important color. Yeah. But um, I would still recommend to get some of every color because um, um, at some point. Um, the Hanover generals will fight. Yeah, I personally just wait um, a few rounds, and then um, I have a feeling where's my strongest color. Color, and then at this sector I will try um, to defend yeah? and keep hearts, of course, or try to uh, trade hearts. Yeah? This is something you should avoid. Yeah, I told you about cross uh, border attacks and so ever. Um, so in general, you should uh, avoid trading hearts with Hanover. Yeah. Let's say hearts versus hearts is bad, yeah. or cross border hearts is also bad. Um, it's even worse. Uh, sometimes, um, yeah, you can't really avoid it but um, yeah avoid it as as most as possible 
Okay, another thing I did mention um, in my first video is um, you should uh, a little bit be more carefully maybe than other nations with your supply trains because if they get hit both in one turn you're really yeah, fucked as France because you don't have any home territory and um, yeah, the distance is quite long. Um, good. So let's do a quick summary. Um, you should focus on Hanover. As always, play in the first one or two turns defensive because um, the longer your income um, grows, um, the more advantage you will have. Uh, so it could be in the early game, let's say around um, two. Uh, often you will move this way, one, two, three, four. Uh, and there's one possible movement as an Hanover player, you could uh, something do like something like this, for example, and then he could uh, do an all-in uh, round two attack. Yeah, with this movement. Okay, this is because uh, it's a testing game, but um, he can. Uh, if you are move to Werden, you can um, move to Herford um, in the second um, turn. And at this point, Hanover has four cards because of the turn order. And um, France got only three cards. Yeah. And if uh, the Nova guy got lucky, he has uh, maybe um, more hearts than you, and, and he could do this attack. Yeah. These are small things you should keep in mind. Play relatively defensive in the early stages to not get uh, some lucky all-ins by um, the Hanover player and just let your card income grow and then after turn three or four you can do an attack with troop uh, superiority and you should easy um, conquer turn by turn um, in a safe way um, these eight cities. Yeah. Try to collect hearts, uh, never lose or lose drastically uh, against Hanova. Um, better play safe, but apply constantly pressure, of course. Um, you should around uh, turn 10, you should have conquered, or that is your goal at least, these eight cities. And um, the best way would, um, if you also have um, yeah, um, destroyed the two generals and have one um, general um, near the base and it stands uh, for the rest of the game here and um, denies the respawn or make it very hard uh, um, to uh, respawn uh, for the Hanover. And then with the other two generals um, uh, you can go to conquer Halberstadt and Magdeburg with your hearts you hopefully collected until then and yeah then um, you will maybe um, get Halberstadt and if you're lucky at some point uh, Magdeburg and um, you should win so um, that was it um, I did Maybe you've got something, and I will try to explain it uh, in the next. But uh, I hope you got 
some insights of um, France play and I will see you online. Bye.